Hello YouTube. What you see here is a PowerBook 3400C which runs both Mac OS 9.1 and Ubuntu 9.10 Linux. It's the 240 megahertz model with 80 megabytes of RAM and I've swapped out the uh, 4 gig hard drive with a 40 gig hard drive and works pretty good. You know, plenty of space for what it does. And I'll show you the startup sequence. What I use is Bootex. It boots into Mac OS 9.1, but immediately Bootex comes up and you can choose between Mac OS or Linux. There we go. And after a moment, go down into the rabbit hole. Kind of quirky. I don't know why, but the backlight turns off. You just gotta turn it on again. Here we are booting up. There's some glare there. Installing it was a pain, I'll admit. But well worth it. I have a fully capable portable computer here. Um, these things can go pretty cheap uh, these days. And as long as you get a decent sized hard drive, you're pretty much set. I'd like to get more RAM, but you know, RAM's pretty expensive for these models. And the max out the maximum RAM is 144 megs, which, you know, 80 megs does the job, even though it's a really low amount of RAM these days. So I installed just a bare bones Ubuntu installation. What you see now is the slim login ma uh, desktop manager coming up. Basically, it's a login manager. It's going to take, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds or so to come up. There we go. And F1 will select our session. I've installed uh, IceWM, Ice Window Manager, which is a very lightweight window manager because, you know, this thing uh, needs a lightweight system. Logging in now. While that's logging in, brief uh, tour of the hardware. Hopefully, uh, you can find out with, on your own what this thing has. Of course, we have two uh, PCMCIA slots that are actually card bus compatible. I have a Waveland card here and a card bus USB 2.0 card, which I have shaved the side of it so that it fits and it actually works with the external power supply. Uh, I have not yet configured the Waveland card, although it, I know it does work. Um, I just need to configure um, WICD on this thing to get it to work on Linux. It works great in Mac OS 9, and so does the USB card. So here we are now, and I've installed uh, you know, a, a GNOME-like theme. Not entirely sure where all my desktop icons went. That's another kink that I'm working out, but this is the ICE WM desktop manager. Fairly straightforward. You can launch all the applications you want, you know, and it's great. This is the first time that I have ever been able to launch Firefox on this old dog. I'll admit, it's slow as all get out, but hey, it's Firefox, you know? And for a portable that is, what now, 13 years old, 
that runs a decently updated version of Firefox, that's, you know, that's pretty cool. Right now I'm running my internet connection to it via Ethernet. It's basically just, uh, I'm using Ethernet sharing from this MacBook Pro over to it. While Firefox is launching, here's some of the ports on the back. Power, sorry it's so dark, VGA, SCSI, the uh, modem serial port, and Ethernet. And there's a infrared port here, which, you know, who uses that anymore? And the uh, ADB port over here for keyboard or mouse or whatever uses ADB now. Uh, line in, line out. And, of course, we have a 6x CD-ROM drive over here on the side. That works pretty good. Got a floppy drive and zip drive, too, but, you know... If I use that, no, no one will use that. So yeah, here we have Firefox. You know, I'm just being very simple here. Just you know, going to Google.com if if I can type correctly. There it goes. Just uh, yeah, proof that it does work. Does browse the web. Um, I'm still working on configuring the uh, OS a little bit but overall it's very nice looking operating system for such an old laptop now I'll admit OS 9 does run much faster and operate much faster uh, but the biggest crippling factor of uh, Mac OS 9 of course is the web browsers so this is a nice little compromise so there you have it there is the uh, PowerBook 3400C on uh, Ubuntu Linux.